Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about GSDoc JavaScript or how to compile JavaScript to JavaScript to make JavaScript better. JavaScript is used a lot in compilers these days. People build new languages and make them compile to JavaScript. But what about compiling JavaScript to JavaScript? Could we make JavaScript better this way? It turns out that we can. So we're going to talk about just that. How to compile JavaScript to JavaScript to make JavaScript better. First, let's see our source language. Our source language is the language that we compile. It has to be JavaScript because we compile JavaScript to JavaScript. First, let's take a basic JavaScript function. We add numbers like this, value 1, value 2. We add some gsdoc. When we add gsdoc, we can see some interesting information. We have the type of each argument. Value 1 can be a number, value 2 can be a number. And the result, which is returned, can be a number as well. They can only be numbers. This is very precious information that we got from gsdoc. So we got our source language. It is a marriage in the JavaScript world. GSDoc plus JavaScript. So let's call our source language GSDoc JavaScript. Now let's take a look at the benefits that it has over other JavaScript dialects. With GSDoc JavaScript, there is no need to learn yet another language. It is plain old JavaScript. You use your existing doc with gsdoc. You use your existing code. All that makes it super easy to integrate. Another good thing is that you test your JavaScript during execution. Your gsdoc is respected. JavaScript is a dynamic language. It has to be tested during execution. So tests are done when they need to be. Another good part is that it detects a new family of errors. GSDoc provides plenty of useful information about your code. This information was never used during tests before. Now, thanks to gsdoc.js, you expand test coverage. All that was pretty nice already. And there is yet another side effect to all this. The more you document your code, the safer it becomes. Documenting your code is good for your developers. Testing your code is good for your users. Everybody is willing to add new documentation now. All this creates a virtuous cycle. In this step, we are going to create a sample mini web page for our demonstration. First, we're going to create a basic HTML5. We load our JavaScript file, add numbers, load it. Now we're going to code the add numbers functions that we have already seen. We are going to add gsdoc. Now that it's done, let's open the page. Add numbers has been loaded. Next, we are going to test some basic execution of the add numbers. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. But now, what happens if we try it with a bad type of variable? Say 4 plus bad is equal to 4 bad, not too cool. See here, the second parameter needs to be a number but we pasted a string. As you can see, JavaScript is not detecting this error. It is completely ignored. This is not good. 
Next step is to install our compiler. So sudo npm install minus g gsdoc.js. Now we do a basic execution of the program and get a version. It works! Excellent! So now we're going to compile our source code at numbers.js. So minus o at numbers.jsdoc.js. This is the name of the produced file. So the compilation went well. Let's look a bit at the produced code. On the left, you can see the original at numbers function. On the right, you can see the produced code. They are pretty similar at first, but there is one subtle difference. You can find the original add numbers function in the produced code as well. Both of them got gsdoc. One big difference though, is that to the right, you can see the better function. We pasted arguments in it. We pasted the type of parameters that we need, and we get those parameters from JSDoc. Now you can see the return. Return is there because we extracted information from JSDoc to produce the better GS parameters. Now we're going to modify our application in order to include the code that we just produced. Let's do that. First, we're going to load the produced code instead of the original code. So add numbers.jsdoc.js. Now we need to include the better JS library that we depend on. To do that, just add script source http.betterjs.org slash build slash better.js Now that we have modified the HTML, let's reload the page. Everything seems to work as usual, but there is one small difference. At numbers.jsdoc.js is reloaded instead. And you can see we have better GS reloaded as well. Now we are going to test our function. Let's do this with a bit of math. At numbers, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. The function seems to work as expected. Minus 6 plus 2 is equal to minus 4. Now, let's try a case which was silently ignored before. Minus 6 plus bad. See, the error is now detected. We have a lot of red on the screen. Let's try another bad case. Instead of adding a wrong argument type, we are going to add an extra argument. So, minus 6 plus 3 plus 4 See, BetterJS detects the error and immediately notifies you. Pretty cool! So that's all for today, guys. I was very happy to talk to you about JSDoc JavaScript. If you like it and want to know more, check it out at jsdocjs.org.